Now you're up to speed with how to create a successful Instagram account that will have real clout and will really grow your audience. It's time to think about how you're going to integrate Instagram's latest and most exciting new features. So how exactly do you use Instagram Stories? Instagram is quite a simple tool, which actually is one of its strongest selling points. However, by adding Instagram Stories, it has added a lot more functionality, and the UI doesn't quite lend itself to this yet. Suffice to say, it's a little less intuitive than a lot of the other functionality, which may even have contributed to the slight slowing of new user adoption. Yeah, is it less easy to pick up and play now? Whatever the case, this video will walk you through it so you'll be good to go. To get started, first, right click on the plus icon that is found at the top left of the home screen. This will be next to the other stories and it will say my story next to it with your profile images. You can also click on the Instagram item above and to the left depending on your version and your region. You can also launch this by just swiping left from the main feed or by swiping right from the home screen. Like I said, not entirely intuitive. Now tap the circle found at the bottom of the screen in order to take a photo, or you can tap and hold if you want to record a video. From there, you can then edit the photos or videos as you normally would in Instagram, or you can draw or write on the screen just like you would if you were using Snapchat. And there are a lot of similarities here, in fact. To add filters, you simply swipe across it and there will be seven to pick from. Less than usual, although we suspect more are on the way. Badges again work like Snapchat and allow for a little more editing in your images. A cool trick that some Instagram creators are using is to use the polka dot image in order to create thought bubble effects. You can also tag people in your stories using the at symbol as you normally would. They will be alerted in Instagram Direct and can then check out the story. Tap done to save your story and then tap the check mark button to share it. Note that your stories will work a little differently to your regular pictures. Remember, these will only last for 24 hours, so if your followers miss them, they will disappear. That also means they aren't added to your grid on your profile, and this is one of the advantages. It's easier to post something a little more off-message here, you know, perhaps something that is a bit of fun. Each time you add a new photo, it will be added to your story and your fans will be able to watch those images and videos in a slideshow. Remember, your stories will appear at the top of the home feed and will be indicated by a red ring circling your profile picture. Users who want to view your stories can then click on that image and will be able to sit back and watch the slideshow or swipe through the images in order to speed it along. If you want to go live, then this will work just a little bit differently. All you need to do is open up the Stories camera by swiping or clicking the plus button and then select the Live option. This is found along the bottom next to the Normal and Boomerang options. A live tag will now appear on your Instagram Stories bubble so that followers will know they can tap it in order to see what you're doing live. Your video will disappear though, so make sure you're careful to choose whether you would rather make a live video, a contribution to your story, or a regular video upload. Something else neat about going live is that your followers will be notified even when they're not on Instagram, unless they've actively turned it off. This increases engagement, and it's a great way to get people to join in whatever you're doing and to increase engagement and trust. At any time, you can click to rotate the camera, and if you select the hands-free option, you'll be able to record without holding down the button. This is useful for recording workouts or other things where you want to be in the shot and not talking to the selfie camera. During the live videos, you'll notice comments appearing down the bottom if you're getting good engagement. 
these are the people who are watching your video right now and you'll also be able to reply to those comments. But why reply to the comments by typing when you have the option to reply to the comments by voice? If someone asks a question, then just answer that question in person while chatting. You'll also be able to see people appearing and disappearing in the live video, and this is a good way to get more engagement. When you see someone join your chat, then why not welcome them and ask them how they are? The first time you start watching live video and this happens, it feels very weird and it really shows the power of being live in a big way. You may notice that next to the live option is another option called boomerangs. This is another new feature which is quite interesting and is essentially a very short looping video. It works a lot like a GIF or perhaps the live photos from the iPhone 6S. Once in the Stories camera, simply click on the Capture button and a burst of 10 photos will be taken automatically and stitched together in a one second video. This can then be played normally or in reverse. You can share these on Instagram, in your Stories or even on Facebook and elsewhere. They look pretty cool and are certainly a good way to demonstrate tech savvy on your account. There are a few more tips, tricks and hidden settings that won't immediately be apparent when you first start to use these new features. For starters, it is possible to save your photos taken for the Instagram stories. To do this, hit the settings button on the top left and then choose save shared photos. This will share your photos to your device, which is handy because you can then make use of them elsewhere or just keep them for your own amusement. It's also possible to do the reverse and to share your Snapchat photos in your Instagram stories, thereby getting more use out of them. Reusing content is just smart if you are an internet marketing or social media marketer. To download Snapchat photos, all you need to do is click the download button. Note that you cannot, however, download any videos that are made live. Security and privacy is always important, even when you are a marketer and your aim is to reach as many people as possible. For example, you might not want your mother to see your modeling shoot on Instagram and you may want to remove haters from your live video. Instagram has thought of both of these things. To prevent comments on live video, you can simply turn the comments off from the settings menu. Likewise, you can hide your stories from particular people through the settings menu. Go into the story settings again and then select hide my story from and then choose who you want to exclude. Unfortunately, it is impossible to comment on stories, but what you can do is to message from them. Message a friend directly from their story by hitting send message while viewing the story. You'll also be able to receive messages similarly when you broadcast your own. You'll need comments enabled to do this though. Okay, so now you know just what Instagram's new features are all about and how to basically use them. It's time to actually start making the most from them. There's a big difference between using Instagram stories and using them well as you'll see in the next few videos.